this is Bogas Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a lizard leg modification tutorial. So if you're like me, uh, you did not like lizard's legs. They they did kind of look cool, but he looks way too short like that. So there's lizard how he looks right now, and uh, I'm going to show how you can change that. So first off, you're going to need two things. Well three things. You're going to need a cup of boiling hot water, which um, if you are under 18, please get a parent or guardian to help you with this. And if you're over 18, just be really, really careful. <laughs> um, but anyway, you're going to need a cup of boiling water. Um, I just boiled this in my coffee pot, one of the instant coffee pots. And then you're going to need some ice cold water, which um, I had some ice in this, but while I was getting my review ready, or, or not review, but getting my video ready and getting everything set up, uh, the ice melted, but you're going to need this ice cold water and then boiling water. So what you're going to do, oh, and you're going to need the lizard build a figure. I don't know if I said that already, but uh, that's kind of apparent that you'll need uh, the lizard build a figure. So what you're going to do is you're going to just take his legs and drop down in that boiling hot water. And what it does is it gets the plastic really gummy and loose. Um, this, this can also work for figures with stiff joints or warped joints or warped accessories. Um, it always helps with that. Although certain plastics like, um, I'm trying to think, uh, Proxima Midnight's staff. Um, her staff, I boiled it because the rods at the end were bent. And they kind of just go back to shape after you boil them. So that uh, certain kind of plastics will go back into shape after you boil them, but most plastics, it will straighten them out because it'll make them really gummy and pliable. Oh, and you also need uh, some pliers if you want. Well, you, you probably will need these because you'll need to get these out of the boiling water. Um, I've just done this so much that my fingers are used to it. So let's go ahead and take these out here. So see, these are really, really gummy. So what you're going to want to do is stretch these to uh, stretch the joint. You're going to want to stretch it like that until it's upright. And then just dip it down in this cold water and it'll set like that. You'll probably want to hold it into shape. That way it uh, bends to the shape that you want it to. So let's... And the cold water will set it back to the way it is. Let's dry that off there. Oh, spilled some water there. But now it isn't, uh, I think that might need boiled a little more. I don't think I got it set perfectly. Um, here's this one. Let's try it with this one. So this one, what you're going to want to do is pop it like that. And then dip it down in the ice cold water. And then now set it back to the way that it should be. Like I said, I didn't do that one the right way, so it wasn't uh, the way, just the way I wanted it. So let's go ahead and dry this off here. That's why I have the towel right here, so I can dry it off. And see, that straightened his leg out. That popped out just a little bit, but that was intentional. And it didn't lose any articulation either. So let's go ahead and put this one on. Which one is this? Left leg. So see, that already made a difference. Let me get him back here. That made a difference. He still has a little bit of a bend in his leg, or in his knee right here, but it's not as bad as it was. So now, let's get this other leg out here. And fix it the right way. Uh, this, is, this is my first time doing it, so, yeah, that's probably why it... It wasn't uh, perfect on the first day. Well, it's not going to be perfect, but I want to get it as good as I can. And now I'm dipping this one in the ice cold water to set it back to the way that it uh, should be. To make the plastic harden is what I should say. Because it's really gummy in the boiling hot water and then the ice cold water will uh, harden it back. So there's that. So let's dry it off right here. I'm drying it on this towel. This is actually a dish towel. I just needed something small enough to fit on my uh, review space here to dry it off and to soak up the water. I'm also doing this uh, in the floor. <laughs> that way I don't get uh, 
my whole review station soaked. I just used the uh, the two pieces of my diorama right here. So now let's put this leg on. There. And there, Lizard is much taller than he was regularly. So now let's go ahead and uh, move the boiling water back there. And he's still probably going to have to rest on his tail. Uh, just because that's how, even with his bent legs, he what he had to do was just rest on his tail. So there's him standing up. And here he is next to Spider-Man. And this is the way that Lizard should be. Uh, since, since I have this dish towel down, I don't, yeah, he's actually going to stand up. So let me move my camera back a little bit. Or maybe I should move it forward just a little bit. So there you can see that that is a really easy way to get Lizard standing upright. He will still have a slight bend to his knees, but he will stand up uh, a lot more than he did. Because I just felt he was way too short. And Lizard should be a big and tall character. And this way, by just boiling the joints, you won't be uh, hurting the figure any. Because if you don't like it like that, you can just boil it back to the way it's supposed to be. Um, most of the tutorials I saw on YouTube use Dremels and stuff like that, but I don't want to drill my figure. I want to use something that, uh, you know, doesn't break it. So that is a really easy tutorial on how to get lizards standing upright. So if you like this tutorial, I started to say review. So if you like this tutorial, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below, and comment down, or subscribe, comment down below, and tell me if this hack worked for you as well. Thanks for watching.